Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tush coming at you. It's Friday, January the 30th, just after 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Happy Friday, everybody. Glad to see the weekend again. And uh, we're going to try to get this frame painted in the next couple of days, I think. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to get it cleaned up. So I've got some uh, warm water and I've got some uh, TSP, or in French it's PTS. So we're going to use some uh, TSP to uh, clean that frame up. Just to get a little bit of the grease uh, off it from where I've been touching it with my gloves. It's not in too bad a shape. It hasn't rusted anywhere. It hasn't flash rusted anywhere, which is good. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, clean the top and bottom of this the best we can. We'll have to blow, blow up a certain few areas away with uh, some compressed air. I've got some sand residue over here from the sandblasting left over, so we'll have to clean that area up pretty well. It's freaking cold outside today. It's about, uh, I think they were saying about minus 26 with a wind chill. It's bitterly cold and really windy, so it's nice to be uh, in the garage where I've had the heat on all day, and it's uh, really nice and comfortable, 15 degrees, almost 16 degrees Celsius, so about 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the garage. So happy to be inside and uh, not outside. Anyway, we'll uh, continue on our way here. We're going to sweep the floor, uh, get that cleaned up a little bit. We're going to uh, put our tools away, and like I said, then we'll start uh, scrubbing the uh, the frame down. All right, guys. Hey, good morning, That's guys. Tush coming at you. Saturday, January 31st, just uh, after 8 o'clock in the morning, and we got a nice morning, brisk morning of minus 13 outside. It's probably a close to minus 20 with the wind chill. Anyway, uh, back in the garage, and uh, we're just checking the frame over. Uh, we washed her down yesterday. It seemed to have survived okay. Didn't really flash rust too badly. I did dry it off pretty well, and I had the heat up to about 80 degrees in here last yesterday for uh, a little bit of time. I did get some flash rust on the uh, radiator protection shield that I wasn't able to get off the car. Still haven't been able to get off the car. Uh, we'll clean that up with a bit of sandpaper before we go ahead and prime it, and we'll give the uh, car a complete uh, sort of blow down with some compressed air. There's a little bits of sand still left on from the sandblasting uh, process, so we'll clean that off as best as possible before we get to priming it today. So, uh, before I get uh, a bunch of questions asked about what I'm actually using to paint with, uh, just remember that I said that this project was going to be a budget project. And uh, I know all about 415, I know about Chassis Saver, I know about all the uh, fairly expensive products. I've done my TR6, my TR3, both 415 products, and they probably cost me about $250 just in paint products alone when you, you know, get the 415, the Metal Ready, the uh, Marine Clean, and then the uh, Chassis Black Top Coat. And they're probably looking at about 250 bucks to paint uh, just a frame. So we're going to go a little uh, cheaper on this one, and uh, obviously it'll be a little less durable, but I don't expect this car to uh, be in a lot of foul weather, nor do I expect it to have a lot of miles put on it from year to year since I've got uh, four cars that I drive uh, just in the, uh, the summertime. So I expect this only to get maybe a thousand or a couple thousand miles a year on it. So having said that, here's my decision on, uh, on paint for this chassis. Are you ready? All right. We're going to go with trim clad. Probably a shock to some of you, but uh, I said budget is uh, in mind on this project. So uh, this costs 25 bucks for the primer and for the uh, the paint. Now, I did want to get a semi-gloss black, and unfortunately, I could only get gloss black uh, in this format. So uh, we're going to go with the gloss black on the frame. It's not, not a big deal to me. I'm not into uh, concourse uh, restoration, so uh, gloss black will do. Uh, it'll get dirty anyway, and it'll get dulled down over time, so I'm not too concerned about that. So uh, that's what I'm using to paint the frame. I'm going to do a coat of primer, and then I'm going to do probably two or three coats of the, uh, of the paint, and I'm sure that will be dur durable enough for my purposes. So that's what we're going to do for paint. We are going to spray it, or we're going to attempt to spray it with an HVLP gun uh, today. I did uh, position the chassis that, uh, if you noticed, I put the uh, saw horses on the outside of the frame on the outrigger so I can have access to the bottom of the frame. So uh, that'll make it easier to paint it all in one step. I'll just have to go back and touch up the, uh, the overriders, uh, the, at least the bottoms of the overriders uh, will be the only things that I can't get paint on. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're just uh, getting the temperature up. It's uh, a little over 10 degrees Celsius in here right now. 
uh, that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to at least get it up to 60 in here before we start spraying primer. So I've got the, uh, the little heaters on full blast. And uh, like I said, we'll clean the frame up one more time and then we'll get ready to prime once it's up to about 60 degrees. So that's it for the update for this morning, guys. We'll get back out here and uh, maybe we'll take a little bit of video while I'm uh, priming. Like I said, I'm going to try to spray it with the HVLP. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And there's always the fallback of brushing or rolling it on, which I don't particularly want to do, but if need be, I can do that as well. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, uh, prime time, 10 o'clock Saturday morning, and we've got just over 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the garage, so I think we're good to go. I've got my uh, Devil Biss uh, starting line gun out. It's got 1.8 tip in it. And I've just set the gun up. I've just uh, haven't used this gun in a long time, so I think it'll be good for this uh, old trem clad. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna mix that up. I might have to thin it a bit. I think I can thin it with mineral spirits according to their uh, website. So uh, we'll see if I need to thin it. If not, we'll just spray it straight out of the uh, out of the pot. We're gonna give this uh, frame a quick uh, clean down again, and then we'll be ready to shoot. So uh, here we go. All right, guys, just coming up to 11.30. So the car has been drying for about an hour or so. And we didn't manage to maintain the 60 degrees, even though I had the uh, the heaters off, obviously, while I was painting. So uh, I've got them back on now, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Everything seems to have sprayed up pretty good. I got a little bit of a little bit of a blob there, but other than that, it sprayed pretty well with the, uh, the uh, HVLP gun. Um, with that 1.8 tip in it. So I did thin the paint out a little bit with mineral spirits uh, to make it uh, spray a little bit better. So it looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Good to see it all in one color. So we'll let this dry for uh, 24 hours it says uh, before I spray the next coat. So uh, we'll get out here tomorrow morning and we'll hit it with the black uh, top coat. I was trying to uh, prime the bottom of the frame as well <clears throat> don't know how effective I was doing that. It's a little bit difficult to uh, paint upside down. But anyway, it looks pretty good. We'll come back later.